refer to your engine's owner's manual for the correct procedures and uh, details on how to set up your uh, engine for storage for the winter. First thing to drain, this is the catalyzed exhaust manifolds and down here on the bottom of the manifold there's a hose and it goes around which we'll get a little bit better view of it here in just a second and couples up right here uh, to the manifold on the other side so we're going to drain that we're now going to drain the uh, the hoses that we just looked at coming from the exhaust manifolds uh, we've got this cover removed here to access the uh, front part of the uh, the transmission and engine here and this is the hose right here Here at the transmission and V-Drive you have hoses coming in. Uh, this comes directly from the bottom of the boat um, to, to start the plumbing for the cooling system. It goes through a cooler here on the uh, on the uh, uh, the front part of the, the uh, V-Drive here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this hose off and let any water drain out. You can also pull the hose off on the other side if needed to get any of the rest of the water out. Okay, now we're here at the back of the boat and we're going to get down to the seawater pump. And there's two hoses uh, on the bottom of the seawater pump that we're going to ultimately drain. Um, and we'll do that here in just a second. Okay, the first hose we're going to drain off of the seawater pump. If you can see here, that's the seawater pump back there. You can follow the outlet hose down as it comes around. Comes up to this oil cooler. We're going to disconnect this worm clamp right here and lay the hose down and it will drain the uh, water out of the hose and the outlet side of the seawater pump. Okay, we've loosened up the worm clamp on the hose going into the oil cooler. We're going to go ahead and lay it down into the, the bilge and get it to the lowest part there and let the water drain out. Now we're going to drain the hose on the other side of the seawater pump. That's the seawater pump right there. The hose coming out of it. Lay it down. And it's pretty well drained due to uh, the hose actually goes back uh, to the transmission uh, cooler uh, that we already drained so it's pretty well empty. Now we're going to drain the J hose, which is out of this cluster of hoses. It's the one right here, the larger one. And it goes around to the research pump right here. I've already got the worm clamp off, so we'll go ahead and drain it. Now draining the J hose. Now we're going to drain the uh, the block um, 
they have a knock sensor uh, set into the drain plug here so we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, sensor wire remove the knock sensor and then remove the drain plug on both sides of the engine this is the port side right here remove the sensor wire and finally remove the plug Now we'll move to the starboard side of the engine to drain the block plug over here. It's a little bit harder to get to due to some hoses, but you can see it right back in there. And do the same thing on this side. Sensor wire off. Knock sensor removed. And last, remove the drain plug. The next step after draining all of the water out of uh, the entire cooling system, uh, Inmar recommends that you uh, take all the drain plugs, uh, hose clamps, hoses, um, and put them in a, a plastic bag and tie them up onto the steering wheel. Uh, for this engine here, we're going to go ahead and put everything back together, all the plugs, uh, the hose clamps, hoses, everything we disconnected, and we're going to run it on uh, propylene glycol antifreeze, which we'll show you here in just a, just a second. We use negative 50 uh, antifreeze, uh, the RV type antifreeze, the pink stuff that's environmentally friendly. And we've got it in our tank here with the hose connected all the way up to the bottom of the boat where the water uh, inlet is for the engine. starting to come out the back of the exhaust is what we're after.